Nelson County Sheriff found 18-year-old Rashid Wycliffe dead near the Bloomfield Post Office this morning. WLKY's Annalisa Gale just learned new details from the Sheriff's Department, and she joins us now live with information from police and family members who walked in on the press conference. Annalisa? Rick, family members came here to the Nelson County Sheriff's Office to the press conference to find out how and why Rashid Wycliffe was killed, but the answer they got, they weren't too happy to hear. He was a good person. He helped everybody. I know he did not deserve it. Rashid Wycliffe was found dead near the post office on Taylorsville Road in Bloomfield. The crime scene tape caught neighbors off guard Tuesday morning. Right around six, maybe a little before, is when I just looked out and saw all the police. There were a lot of them, and didn't really know what they were doing at first. And then you could see a lot of them right around the post office, and you know somebody laying there. According to Nelson County Sheriff Ed Mattingly, the 18-year-old former Bardstown High School football player had a puncture wound to his neck. We're told it was not a gunshot wound. 18-year-old Alexander Roberts, who knew Wycliffe, is now charged with murder. Sheriff Mattingly believes Wycliffe's death was drug-related. Police believe Wycliffe drove to the area with another team together Tuesday morning to meet up with Alexander Roberts. Investigators say Roberts lives in a home just a few doors down from where Wycliffe's body was found. The victim's family who showed up to Tuesday's press conference say they want justice. Sheriff Mattingly met with Wycliffe's dad, who is devastated. I'm hoping that uh, justice will be rightful. And Rick, today we learned that Sheriff Mattingly has coached Wycliffe in the past in baseball. So today is also a sad day for him. Live from Bardstown, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News. Thank you, Annalisa. Originally, the Nelson County Sheriff's Department thought Rashid Wycliffe was shot to death. The last homicide case in Bloomfield that the sheriff can recall was back in 2003.